Cougar fans, welcome back to part two of our interview here with Josh Singh. We kind of left off a little bit on the last part of segment one, going into BYU, you know, that summer bridge. Yeah. Um, we're kind of going to go into you to your, your redshirt freshman year a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so take me through that first fall camp going into uh, the season. First fall camp, what was that, 2021? So that fall camp, it was, yeah, it was for sure, you know, just nerve-wracking, like, dang, first college experience. Like, for me, like, I remember that first day because we had one-on-ones, right? And I've never lost one-on-ones, <laughs> ever. Like, high school, I was a dog one-on-ones. Like, no one could touch me. But then, again, now that you're at this kind of level of competition, all these guys are the best of the best, right? So my first rep, I won, and then the second one, I lost. And I was like, no way, I just lost. Who was the right back. I, I forgot. Uh, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to give him that credit. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> you don't need to know. Um, but, yeah, then I got him back. But it was just like, dang, okay, it's a different level for sure. And then first week was good. Second week, I was really, I started to like, get a hold of things and then started balling. And then that third week, you know, just an like, ankle sprain held me back. And I was like, oh. But that, that was a good fall camp all, overall. Good learning course from Coach Tuyaki and Atlanta and those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so you kind of came in here with a lot of chemistry with the guys on the team. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like that helped you uh, adjust and, you know, acclimate to this new environment? Oh, uh, I think it was more just a comfortable thing, like a safe place. Because, you know, when you get to, like, an area, like, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah. kind of yeah, like, I, I, I just want to stick in your own <laughs> show, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, so, like... But when I got welcomed with like um, open arms, it was just like oh, okay, like I can be myself. I can kick it with the guys. Like Zo, like my first D line practice, like he invited me to the barbecue that day. Like D line always had stuff going on, and they invited me to the barbecue. And I was like, oh cool, like heck yeah, I, I can, like I'm happy to be here. Like, you know, it was cool. Yeah, uh, and so that kind of takes you to your first season. You were you were on practice squad, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you dressed for the bowl game. Yeah, Idaho State, yeah. And bowl for Idaho State in the bowl game, uh, and then so we'll kind of go into this last year when you actually got a, a little more action. Mm -hmm. I mean, you went in against Baylor and you know some of those final moments. Mm -hmm. uh, take me through last year a little bit and those some of those reps that you got and that, that kind of the kind of that feeling of being out on the field for the first time. Uh -huh. uh, I'd say last year, uh, it was it was what's the best way to say it? I don't know. <laughs> I think last year it flew by like I don't even remember like I remember a lot of the moments but like Baylor like especially that game that game was crazy because I remember the last play I always stay warmed in the game especially like mm -hmm. being that guy like you know, never you know like like I said opportunity right yeah. so that last play I went in because more of the guys got sprained his wrist and I was like I remember, I'm, I'm like warm and then they put me in and I got triple team but it, it again it was opportunity I just made the most of it so it, it was just it was fun and then going from there just learning like week after week after week, it it was just a it was a fun experience. Yeah. Um, so let me go. Let me, I have go, one for thing. go for it. Go for it. Let me have one more thing. It's all you, bro. Just just because like, for me like those opportunities opportunities came because, well you have two hockey right, but like one of the guys behind the scenes is Vince Spiel or you know mm -hmm. Bishop. Yeah. yeah. And yep yep Bishop yep <laughs> uh huh, but uh yeah he 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 believed in me from the first time like first fall the ball camp like. He helped me with the little things, pay attention to little details, always kept me ready. Like, just even even this past spring, like, he's always just helped me with those little extra things and giving me those chances. And that's one thing I've been really grateful for. Just wanted to give him a little shout out. Yeah, <laughs> love that, love that. So this year going to the Big 12, uh -huh. um, big things coming up. What kind of expectations do you have for yourself and what are you going to do to prepare for this uh, this step up? Yeah, Big 12, you know, everyone's, like, hyping it up, like, like, oh, my gosh, Big 12, Big 12, what's BYU going to do, all that. And I think, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's you, me versus me, right? Like, BYU versus BYU, like, we're our own enemy, right? Like, if we can all play together, stay healthy as a team, like, we could be the best team in the section. I have no doubt. So, for Big 12, that's just the way I feel. I feel like we're the best of the best already, and we just got to gotta do what we got to do. Yeah, I feel like, you know, they're always, they're giving us trash. Like, oh, they're going to be the worst team going mm -hmm. to any conference mm -hmm. ever, da, da 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 And, you know, I feel like we're always that underdog. Yeah, we exactly. always have that chip on our shoulder. Mm -hmm. We love it. We thrive on it. It's really something that I mean, I'm excited for, that mm -hmm. we're all excited for. Um, and so we're going into this season with, with a new defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, how do you, you know, obviously everyone loves him. Yep. But I want I want to get your kind of impressions of, you know, the new defensive schemes, you know, oh, and everything yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. Because you're, you're that guy, you know. So this game... Just be, be ready for a lot of blitzing. Like I do see it in spring, like we blitz, 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 blitz. Like we, 
it, it's a whole different philosophy almost like mm -hmm. it's a different, different different scheme for sure right and now that we're creating disruption and all this like our d tackles we're gonna we're gonna eat all the four d line on the field we'll eat because we're just creating havoc in the backfield that was the biggest thing in screen like as you've probably seen like yeah, me nysa uh jackson john like all all of us haws wyatt bruce we were all creating havoc and all the, the biggest thing i saw from our defense was all 11 were at the ball not just six not just seven but all 11 like hauling butt to the ball like you guys had a sense of urgency yeah, that it, it was for. urgency like yeah it was just something we i feel seen. like that's something that we pick up with every new coach mm -hmm. we get every coach we get is always pushing us for harder pushing us harder yep um our new strength coach, Coach Phyllis. Coach Phyllis. Same thing. Yep. I love that. Our, our common theme now seems to just be urgency yep. and excellence and perfection. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Yep. Um, so for your, for your, you know, what are your expectations for yourself this year? My expectations, so I, I was, I, I played pretty well during spring. And then I was able to get the two deep and make it in that two deep. And then um, from there, going into this fall, I feel like my expectation is to just, Play my cards right. Coach Poole always talks about playing our cards right, and I just want to play my cards right. Do do my job, and then make the most of the opportunities I get. And hopefully that's in the two deep, and just play my butt off this ball. Well, then, Josh, I have no, I have no doubt you're gonna be great, bro. Switch to number ninety nine. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. I don't know. I can't say. We can't say. Can't say. I don't know yet. Switching. Switching. Josh hasn't told me yet. Yeah. <laughs> he told me. He said he's gonna be a surprise. So I'm like, all right, all right. We'll see. We'll see. Cougar Nation, be sure to stick around. I'm going to end our segment two with Josh, but be sure to stick around for part three. Uh, get to know a little bit more about his life, his personal life now. Not too personal, don't worry. Mm. Um, but thanks for watching Cougar Nation. Be sure <laughs> to stick around for that part three. Yep, and yep. Uh, go back and watch part one if you haven't already. Thanks. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the other two parts of this interview. Plus, all of our other interviews we do with BYU Athletes. We also like to give a special thanks to our Cougar Board Insiders for making this possible.